In this session, let us learn the first stage of AI project cycle, problem scoping. It is a fact that we are surrounded by problems. They could be small or big, sometimes ignored or sometimes even critical. Many times we become so used to a problem that it becomes a part of our life. Identifying such a problem and having a vision to solve it is what problem scoping is all about. As we have understood, problem scoping means selecting a problem which we might want to solve using our AI knowledge. Let us understand how to scope a problem. The first step is to select a theme that we are interested in. The next step is to select various topics that are related to the theme. Once this is done, we can choose our topic out of these and list the problems that come under these topic. So we select the theme and a set of topics and from the topics we list down a set of problems then we choose one of the problem. For example, if we take the sustainable development goals, there are 17 goals which are divided into three different categories, namely social, environmental and economical. Let us assume that we first choose environment as a topic. Now, if we take environment as a topic under SDG as theme, we have a list of problems, which could be the list of goals that come under this category environment, like decent work and growth, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption, climate action, life below water and life on land. Right? So we can choose one of these topics as the goal of our project and then we can solve this with the help of our AI knowledge. Let us take the example of Korean traditional dish called kimchi. Kimchi is a traditional dish that uses napa cabbage, chili pepper, fermented seafood, and salt as ingredients and use these to prepare the traditional kimchi salad. Now this salad is made in the winter season but the price of napa cabbage soars very high during this season. As you can see in this picture, the price of napa cabbage rises drastically and just before the kimchi making season. So it gets very difficult for homemakers to make salad using napa cabbage as the main ingredient. Taking this problem as target of our AI project, let us understand problem scoping. We are now going to go through the 4W problem canvas. This canvas helps us to identify four crucial parameters we need to know for solving a problem. So what are the four W's? They are who, what, where and why. Let us start with the who block. In this stage, we are looking at the person who is having the problem that we call as stakeholders. So it helps in analyzing the people getting affected directly or indirectly due to the problem. As I said, stakeholders are the people who face the problem and would get benefited with the solution. So the example in which we took kimchi, the traditional South Korean dish, homemakers face the problem that they are not getting napa cabbage at a nominal price for making the Korean dish. Farmers are also stakeholders because they expect good returns in this particular season for their livelihood. So homemakers have their own family recipes that is passed over to the next generation and farmers rely on 
Now a cabbage sales for their living. Now I am assuming that we are taking our stakeholders as homemakers because they are in majority and not the farmers. Then comes the second block which is the what block that helps you to determine the nature of the problem. Now what is the problem? How do you know that it is a problem? Under this block you have to gather evidences to prove that the problem you have actually exists. It could be some articles related to newspaper, it could be related to the announcements in the media etc. Under what block you need to look into what you have in hand. So what is the problem that we are seeing here? We see the rise in cabbage prices and these prices are not predictable every year. So we came to know about this with a news article which is related to the soaring prices of Napa cabbage. Now the third block is the where block. The where block helps us to look into the situation in which the problem arises, the context of it and the location where it is prominent. So in the where block, what is the context or the situation the stakeholders experience the problem? We see that there could be poor harvest of Napa cabbage or there is a problem in the rise in the prices of Napa cabbage during the kimchi making season and this problem is located in parts of South Korea. Now let us understand the fourth block which is the Y block. The Y block helps us to think about the benefits which the stakeholders would get from the solution and how it would benefit the society as well. So why will this solution be of value to stakeholders? Because they can buy Napa cabbage at its lowest prices or at least at the best prices. How will it improve the solution? It will allow homemakers to make more kimchi and lower their household expenses. To understand how to phrase a problem statement, we can make use of the problem statement template. The problem statement template helps us to summarize all the key points into one single template so that in future whenever there is a need to look back at the basis of the problem, we can look at the problem statement template and understand the elements of it. Let us see how to phrase the problem statement template. I have written the four blocks on the right side. Our Stakeholders. Who are the stakeholders? Homemakers. This comes under who block. Have a problem that what is the issue problem or the need in this case? Cabbage prices are unpredictable or the Napa cabbage prices are unpredictable. This is the information that we found under what block? When they want to make Kimchi, that is the context or situation. Now this is a part of what we discussed in the where block. An ideal solution would be, what would be the benefit of the solution for them? To help them predict the best time to buy Napa cabbage. So this comes under the Y block. So whatever we discussed under each block can be put in a template like this so that we can summarize it easily by putting together. Our homemakers have a problem that cabbage prices are unpredictable when they want to make kimchi. An ideal solution would be to help them predict the best time to buy Napa cabbage. So this way we can summarize the problem template and the goal of our AI project which we wish to solve using our AI knowledge. So in this session we understood the first stage of AI project cycle that is problem scoping.
we also understood how to write the problem statement template using the 4W canvas. Right? I hope you have understood this clearly. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.